What's up, creators? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Jason Kyle from the CWR. In this video, Lee and I talk about characters, but more specifically, when characters have secrets. Characters with secrets can make for really fun, compelling TV. Think about shows like Pretty Little Liars, Big Little Lies, really big, attractive, tiny liars, essentially anything with the word lie in it. Another great example is the character of Liza, which also has the word lie in it, from the show Younger. Liza is a 40-year-old woman pretending to be 27 to get and keep her career in publishing. And watching Liza navigate all the new relationships in her life while keeping up the lie makes it fun for us, the audience, to continue to watch. Here's an example that Lee and I discussed from the pilot of Dead to Me. Let's dive in. Jason and Lee. Right. They right. really are. It's, it's Mary Tyler Moore and Rhoda Morgenstern, you know, except in a dark universe. Right. Is, is these characters. Yeah. I mean, and, and, and to me, I mean, up until this point, like the characters for me are very clearly defined. Like we mm -hmm. have our Jen who's, you know, cynical, but yet focused, uh, uh, you know, very detail oriented. She's savvy. She's a little fierce. She's harsh. And then we have the contrast of Judy a little bit more uh, aloof, a little bit more of a free spirit, quirky and affectionate. Um, so to me, I'm, I'm, I, so far I've been gripped by the two of them coming together and forming this bond. Um, but Jen, Jen is the center mm -hmm. of this. Jen is the one who has the arc. Yes. She started off, uh, you know, completely closed off. Right. She allowed herself to open. Yes. And now she's been betrayed. Right. And now the rug's been pulled from underneath. Yeah. Right. And now what is she going to do? Mm -hmm. When we're thinking about our pilots, I mean, those three things that you just hit on, and we know the pilot isn't over yet, right? But mm -hmm. up until this point, yeah, we have the setup for the character, the, um, the meeting, developing the relationship, right? So we see the character uh, emotional arc. Mm -hmm. And then this, this sort of, let's call it the first inciting event where the rug is pulled out, and then we're going to see the reaction. But let's think about, let's just imagine for a moment another way of writing it. You mm -hmm. know, another way of writing it would be to have revealed to the audience at this point that Judy was not telling the truth mm -hmm. about the death. And watching this relationship between her and Jen continue to grow mm -hmm. while we, the audience knows, mm -hmm. you know, that... Right. that so we're holding the information from Jen. Yeah. Yeah. That would that that's an absolutely legitimate way to go. That's basically what you know the first season of Mad Men was about. Right. Was uh you know the main character has a secret that we know. Right. That no one else. Right. Um. You know how would you? I guess th this is this is a tough one because you know how do you decide? I mean, is that in the writers' room? You know, or does that really come down to, let's say you as a showrunner, you say, this is the angle I want to go. Are you, are you pulling ideas and saying, hey, what, what's, what's a more powerful story, more compelling story to tell? If the audience is in on it, but Jen isn't, or we see Jen come to the realization at the same time as the audience. Well, I don't know what, what the vision of the creator is yet. I assume that she has a vision that she knows in at least general terms what she wants the show to be about. Mm -hmm. So that would be how you make those kind of decisions. Mm -hmm. I think Matthew Weiner, when he's creating Mad Men, he started from the premise mm -hmm. that this was a guy with a ostensibly perfect life, mm -hmm. you know, who had a huge skeleton in his closet, who wasn't right. really who he appeared to be. Right, yeah. Um, do you feel more compelling storytelling just from the experience of things you've created and you watched? Do you feel that it's a more compelling story if we have the audience are in on it and the main and the characters in the show are not or vice versa. And you know, I, I don't think there's any hard and fast rule. There's situations mm -hmm. in which you absolutely don't want the audience to be ahead of you. Right. Certainly in comedy, um, for most of the time, you don't want the audience to be ahead of you. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, when the audience is ahead of you, if you're designing it, if you're leading the audience, mm -hmm. you know, like you know that there's a banana peel Right. at the end of the hall and right. you're watching you know the character <laughs> walk the walk walk and then they walk, stop walk, walk and, and they keep going and, yeah and, you know and they've got an attitude that you know is going to be totally 
uh, thrown asunder by the banana peel, then there's yes. a lot of comedy in the anticipation. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, no, you're right. No, bring up some good points. Thank you, everyone, for watching. For full-length episodes of Co-Pilots and the Pitch, join our Patreon. You can find a link in the description below. And make sure you like and subscribe and comment below. Right, Lee? I, I don't see anything down there. No, no, no. I see it, nothing. It, no, it, it's it's going to be on their screen. There's going to be the buttons that they can put on their screen. It's not going to be below your, your computer. Well, then... But I can't do it then? You're saying I'm left out? Well, we're on the channel already. Do you need to subscribe to our channel? We want other people to subscribe. Well, I need to know what's going on on the channel as well. Yeah, but they know. You don't need to know. They know. Just... I'm... Can't, can't I like it? I think we're doing a good job. Just please somebody like this video. I don't beg. On TV, Co with Jason and Lee.